Now guys, you would think that this is from ChatGPT, but it's not. It is an LLM which I'm running in my local and here you can see in this it would have been written Mistral Latest. In this video, I'm gonna show you all how you can deploy your LLM in your local and use it worldwide. Let's jump into the video right now. To achieve this deployment which I showed right now, we are gonna need these four dependencies. First, you need to have a Docker desktop in your system. If you are using Windows or Mac or Ubuntu, for everything Docker is available. So you need to install Docker. And then you need to install Olama as well. Then we'll also need to have an account in ngrock. Okay. So for Docker desktop, what you can do is, if you are using Windows, just go Docker desktop for Windows install docker desktop for windows and then just follow the steps which are given in this document or you can also type how to install docker desktop in windows 11 in youtube and then there will be some videos and it will be easy for you to install from there but for mac or uh, linux it won't be that tough you can just install it with some normal command itself next you need to install olama olama install windows so for this what you need to go do is go into olama click download and then do install that's all okay for anything go into olama click download and choose your os and based on your os it will either give a command or an exe file okay for for windows it will be an exe file and for uh, linux it will be a command and for mac os also it will be an exe file okay so once this is done in Olama itself, next do pull a model. Okay. In Olama, there are a lot of models which are available. In that, you would need a model to be deployed in your system. So for that, what you need to do is go into the site first. Olama models. There will be a library of models and choose your model name. Okay. So for example, I like Mistral a lot. So I'm keeping Mistral. Okay. Here, what you need to do is go into your terminal. Once you have installed Olama, go into your terminal and write Olama pull Mistral. Okay. It will just do pulling manifest and then it will pull the model. Okay. I already have Mistral, so I don't need this, but this is your first step. Okay. Once you install Docker desktop, do this. And if you wish, you can also try to do other models because here you can see in this library, there are other models as well. Mistral, Mistral, Neural Chat, Newsermis, Phi, Deep Sea Coder. So a lot of models are there and even you can add a custom model in this and in one of the future videos, I'll also show you how you can add your own custom models. But right now that is your second step. Next, the third step would be to run this open web UI. For this, I'm having a command. Once you are installed with Docker, first you need to just check once if the Docker is working. So what you can do for that is type Docker and it should come with something like this and then do docker ps right now it would be empty okay now once you run this command which is docker run hyphen d hyphen p 3000 is to 8080 and then add host volume name and restart always everything is provided it will work okay First, you need to ensure Docker is there, but once you have ensured and you run this, it should work. Now I'll explain these commands one by one. First, this one, docker run is to start and run a container and hyphen D means it is detached. It will run in the background. Okay. Then there is hyphen P 3000 is to 8080, right? It is to port map. Okay. From 8080, it will be port mapped onto 3000. 
and that's why we are having hyphen p next we have hyphen hyphen add host we are adding a host for us and then we are adding a volume because once you stop a container what happens is all the data will be deleted in our use case when we are chatting the chat also needs to be stored right so for that what you will what we will do is we will store that in a volume and that's why we have hyphen v open web ui is to app slash backend slash data in that data every data be it like chat or the model configuration everything will be stored and then we are providing a name for this container right now we are giving it as olama web ui and then also we are stating that it should always restart from first okay that's why we are giving restart always and then finally we are giving from where this specific container should be taken okay so this will be in hub and we are taking it from there that's why it is dhcr.io open web ui that is that is where it is available now let's run this command and for you what happens is it will pull a lot of things okay uh, i have everything in with me that's why uh, it is not showing me anything but for you it will come as pulling manifests and so on and so forth now but you will say see, see this difference which is docker ps this is the change here you can see there is container image names command created status and then ports everything are available and in there you have the port as 3000 where it is running with the name as olama web ui okay so what you can do here is go into your web uh, chrome in this what you need to do is type localhost is to 3000 okay so for this it will ask a sign up just do a sign up give your name something like test123 but remember your credentials okay it will do some kind of an authentication so remember your credentials for email just give it as test123 at gmail.com and for password again test123 okay now i'm creating an account If you see here, it is saying account activation pending. What happens is, if you have created an account already, it will ask for an admin access. Now I am going to go for my admin. Okay. Test at gmail.com and test. If I do a sign in here, this is my previous account. And if I click admin panel here, it will ask pending. Okay. Here you what you need to do is click it two times and it will give admin access. If you click one time, it will give user access. If you give user access, this admin panel won't be available for them or settings for that matter. So this is the Olama web UI. And here you can see they have tried to replicate the same as ChatGPT, but it is better than ChatGPT in a lot of ways. The first thing is you can select your model here. Around, right now in my local I have three models Medlama 2, Mistral and then Startup Tech Lawyer but uh, it's your wish like you can choose a model of your own in my mo my system I have three models which you can see with select a model okay so that's why I said you should do Olama Pudl Med uh, Mistral and if you are interested in using some other model do that first okay Next, what you can do is just go and type a message. Right now, first, let me select Medlama2. Hey, I'm facing severe cold. What can I do now? Provide me some home remedy. yeah now you can see it is giving me some uh, response which is saying take rest hydration and uh, take some common remedies like take ginger soup ginger chicken soup honey 
and uh, stuff like that okay but as you can see here it's working but this is not the thing which I said first right now it is just running running in your local okay but we need this to run in every device in the world right now so for that what we are going to do is go into ng rock in ng rock first download this it should show, it, it should show a download okay so first download it either you can download it as a normal file or download it as by using chocolatey next you need to add your auth token okay these two are the steps which is required for you to do first then what we will do is we'll run this command okay ng rock http http is to local host 8080 okay we need to take this command go into a terminal paste it in here and change the port to 3000 now if you see here it should show me a uh, forwarding right like there is a U url in here just copy this and paste it in your chrome and here you can see the http requests are going now let me go on to the chrome as you can see here it is again asking me for sign in let's do the same test at gmail.com and test in this you are going to see something very nice okay so now it's running but the thing which is very cool is here you can see the chat history is available if you see the url has changed from here to here but the chat history has been retained that's why they asked to create an account and from here also i can just create a model and ask the same question what to do when i have fever and here you can see it is giving me a lightning fast response okay now it is very cool it's working in your system and if you share this url with your friends anywhere in the world they will be able to run it but the llm is running in your local that is what is the good part here so for this to work in your mobile all you can do is copy this url paste it somewhere and export it export the link or copy the link and paste it in your mobile somewhere okay let me do that So now I exported the link to my mobile and here if you see I'm running the same application in my mobile okay even if I run this from America though I'm in India right now if I run this from America it should work okay right now I'll also try to test the model from here it is now typing it I asked what is fever and as you can see here it gave me a fast response on what is fever okay and that is how you will deploy your model into a system where everyone can use it okay right now the only disadvantage here would be that this should run in your system always but for that also I have some suggestions okay you can uh, rent a run pod instance and then run it there or go for some other uh, deployments and if you are a company you can run it in your own server things like that but otherwise you are giving a very good ui for testing your model and running with it and if you are making a production level chatbot this would be very useful i hope you all like this video guys if you all like this video please hit the like button share it with your friends because everyone likes to deploy their own model and when you show that you have a ChatGPT like interface to run your model they will find it very useful i'll see you all in the next video guys until then cheers